Time for our Sunday showcase, rooted in Arizona with the Rodriguez family. If you've ever been in the Valley uh, for a few years now, likely you've seen Coach Robert Rodriguez. He worked under Herm Edwards for a few years out there at ASU, then got hired to the Cardinals new coaching staff. A famous coach once said to me, build your house on wheels. But finally, for Coach Rob and his family, they get to put some long-awaited roots down here. My thought was that it would be optimistic. Like, your next stop is going to be put there. We're going to have a great next stop. And he opened it up on Christmas Day and said, I looked at it and I go, hey, it's a graveyard. <laughs> It's the, it's a coaching graveyard. She looked at me, she's like, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> it was awesome to put that Cardinals deal on there. Home is where football takes us. In the Rodriguez house, there's plenty reminders. Put together, they read like a map oh! of a pretty good football life. Oh! You see their faces when we told them we were getting to stay. That celebration was better than any victory I've ever had on the football field. The Valley means so much to us as a family, and we can't tell you where we're going to be in the future, so the here and now, it means the absolute world to me. Woo! The here, calling the Valley home since 2020. The past couple of years, Coach Rob was a popular assistant coach out at ASU. Then came the now. It wasn't easy for three months. It was stressful. I just believed it was going to turn out right. Yeah, let's go. Working down the street in Tempe, coaching outside linebackers for the Cardinals under his good friend, Jonathan Gannon. So JG and I were together my first year. I showed up to Minnesota. Sometimes the best servants make the best leaders. And I've always respected JG. And that meant a lot to me is that I was one of the ones uh, that he included in his staff. Like other members of JG's staff, they started out together at the bottom. When I'm driving to work every day, I kid you not, I kind of say my prayers. And one of them is that I do a good enough job for my players, for JG, for Nick. When they say things, it's not stuff that you're like, okay, the boss says it, we got to do it. Sure. The things I believe in, and, they, and I know why they believe in those things, because I was there when we went through that fire. More fun than that, being a dad to eight-year-old Caleb and five-year-old Jesse. I'm going to win this. Boo! Yes! That part about it has been unexpectedly the best part. I've spent more time as a dad. I'm a much better husband and father than I have ever been. Yeah! Also, JG providing enough uh, of a schedule. We work hard, but he encourages us to go spend time with our families. And there's been a couple times we're at work, but the game's about to start. And if I tell him, hey, you know the game's today, hey Rob, get out of here. I've been showing up right around the first pitch, but, but I'm there. Here we go, boys. Come on, Jesse. Jesse. Uh, for his little preschool graduation, asked him, what do you want to be when you get older? He said, I want to do what my dad does. And I was at work around the guys who were about to start a meeting. I'm over here trying to like bite my, bite my knuckles so I don't cry in front of the guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> but all we do is sports. That's what happens when you marry a girl from Boston, right? It's just sports, sports, sports. So that's what we, we don't watch shows here. We watch sports. Sports brought Holly and Robert to UTEP in the early 2000s. But how does a Boston sports fan soccer player end up with a Laker-loving local El Paso football star? We connected the first time was arguing over Larry Bird or, or Magic Johnson. Double pumps, throws it over the middle, intercepted, Robert Rodriguez. When we started dating, he was actually sitting on the bench at UTEP. <laughs> so I got freshman All-American, no then I got benched. <laughs> I was all conference that next year. We went out to celebrate with my family, and I nudged her, and I go, hey, so you're pretty impressed now you're dating an all-conference <laughs> linebacker. She gets in my face and wh wags her little finger in my face. She says, listen to me. I was dating you when you were fifth straight, and don't you forget it. Their relationship was tested. The first big one, balancing a broke budget. We get married. I'm a GA. She's a first-level uh, attorney, and we're moving to El Paso. We got no money. And the only thing we're splurging on is paying for direct TV so we can get Nesson so she can watch the Red Sox. Zero money. That's part of the budget was Nesson. So. <laughs> he was working all the time, so I needed something to watch. Working together, that ride or die type of love. Another big test came in 2015. Holly was a well-established prosecutor in El Paso. Coach Rob was an assistant linebackers coach at his alma mater. But it was time to make the NFL jump, which meant leaving one career behind. She was a rising star in the in the prosecutor in the DA's office in El Paso. People around town knew who she was, and she had a great reputation for being excellent in what she did. 
and I, I kind of kicked her out of that. Taking her over to Minnesota, it was difficult. Yeah, it was tough. I had been at my job for eight years. I had really good friends there, and his entire family is in El Paso. So to leave that entire community was really tough, and then to go where I literally knew anyone um, was hard. But we had fun, had another baby there. <laughs> her and I are still competitive. That, 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 that athlete part of us is still in us. And now we got two kids that are super competitive, yeah. Super competitive, and one of them says he's got a superpower. No crying, no pouting. There's no way you get six in a row. Instead of framing it like, listen, this is a disability that you have, she said, you get to hear super, it's like a superpower. And, and so you have super hearing. And so that's how he explained it to people for a long time. Like, Why do you have those? Oh, so I can hear super. Their oldest son, Caleb, was diagnosed with hearing loss back in 2020. Doctors still don't know why, but he'll have to wear hearing aids for the rest of his life, which is fine by him. Well, I mean, other than people noticing them, sure. Caleb doesn't notice them. And Caleb doesn't know that he's any different he would never tell you it's a disability. Yeah, he would tell you it's a, he hears better than you. Everybody here has treated him great, and to him it's no big deal, something he's just gonna have to deal with and hasn't slowed him down. If home is where football takes us, then thank you, football, for bringing them home. More than any year of my life, more than any year of my career, uh, the thing I lead with every day is gratitude. Show them the guns, dude. Oh, yeah. They don't know what time it is. Show them the guns. The guns. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here wearing the colors, representing the valley, my family every single day. It's, uh, it's a dream come true.